Yeah. Okay. All right. So I've been having a lot of trouble with the Exceed RC um, stock ESCs on the Cubbies. This is the second one. I plugged it in a little bit ago and it got very, very hot. I know it's a linear uh, ESC, so it's going to get warm, but uh, this will probably be the second one I roast. This is a 3S 1300 milliamp battery that came with the Cub. And uh, we're going to go ahead and connect it and see what happens here. Just in case I have control of the motor, I'm going to go ahead and plug it into the throttle and boot this puppy up. All right, it's already on there, so here we go. I hope that thing doesn't burn my airplane up. All right, you got a good picture of it? Mm -hmm. All right, negative, negative, positive, positive. And we're plugged in. And you'll notice that there's no tones from the motor. There should be the alarming tones. There's nothing there. It's getting hot. I can feel the heat coming off of it already. <laughs> Smell it. Ooh, puppy's hot. Ah, yeah, yeah smell, the, smell the plastic. Smell the plastic burning. Oh, yeah. Yeah, see, so this ESC is not functioning. <clears throat> Whew. All right, so two in a row. This is uh, one that uh, Nitro Planes was kind enough to send me as a replacement, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and put a hobby wing on it. Uh, I've had enough uh, trouble with these ESCs. Okay, so in the previous video you saw how this ESC burned up and you can see on the capacitor here and I had a couple stills in between that uh, show you this one's cracked and broken. It, it, it burned up pretty bad and uh, would have uh, caught on fire if we hadn't stopped. Um, so uh, this, has, this is an ESC with a built-in BEC and yes, a linear BEC can get hot, but this shouldn't happen. So I put a proton on it. I thought it was a hobby wing, but uh, it's an Exceed proton, uh, 30 amp. And I'm going to show that the, the motor hopefully will start up and everything will work just fine. All right, here we go. Let's see what happens. Positive, positive, negative, negative. And you should hear the tones. Yep. So that's a big difference from the first one. In that first video, when we plugged in the bad, um, brand new uh, ESC, we didn't even get the battery tone, so the current didn't get to the motor. It was all burning up in that capacitor. And let's just make sure my motor spins in the right direction and we're done.